Yo, Vegas always come talk the things them now. Oh, oh me end this, Vegas. All right, give thanks. Yo, Vegas give you a, 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 a barrel full of oil and information, man. Barrel full of information. Grateful, my brother. I'm going to tell you, the woman there need to be arrested. The person who go into the school and do that to you, them, need to be arrested. Lady and big up. Big up, my artist. Give me yeah. them. Yo, Scott, big up yourself in general. Where are you going? Huh? Yeah, man, I just want to say a couple of things real quick, right? Yes. Um, truth be told, um, the Jamaican Constitution states that we have the freedom of religion. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even though we have the freedom of expression, we have the freedom of religion. So, in a nutshell, there should be no religion being superimposed on anyone at all. Um, these schools that are being publicly funded, right, should not be having no devotions. If no. they're having devotions, it should be a matter of choice. Yes. You get what I'm saying? No, what we realize is that these schools, right, when the devotion are keep, them round up everybody, just like yes. back in the days of slavery. When yes. Sunday comes, slave master yes. makes sure say, well, everybody go to church. When hmm. Sunday time come, you couldn't stay up at the plantation and say, you yeah, steal man, cook or whatever. You, know. you have to go to church first. Uh, after church, you go home and you cook. These yeah. schools should not be rounding up the children them to have no devotion. It should be a matter of choice because these are publicly funded institutions, even though we know so the church owner and operate them. And mm -hmm. that, that, that's a problem with the church and state situation yes. in Jamaica because <laughs> these are government-funded entities. And as such, right, the, the constitutional freedom of religion should be applied. So this whole devotion thing, this is a wake-up call for we even start to even say, engage the conversation there. Should, should these schools be having devotions because it is infringing on the rights of the children as well? Because a child who does not want to partake in devotion you are superimposing that religious dogma and doctrine upon that child. Brainwashing them, yeah. Which is, which is a breach of their constitutional rights. Right. So get what I say? Yes. Now, now scatter, um, back to evil, they, they be there with that reason a while ago. You see, yeah. most religious people, them deal with dogma. Them yeah. not deal with logics. No, them not no, deal no. with science. Yeah. Them not deal with facts. So get what I say? It's all about dogma. So whatever information them absorb, them don't question it. They do not apply a critical mindset towards it and then just run with it. Now, let me show you this, family. No Christians should be out here at talk about no spiritual warfare because them own a Bible tell them, say, a Satan a rule the world. The Bible itself tells them, say, Satan is the ruler of this world. And there are many Bible verses. You have books in, in, in Ephesians. You yes. have books in, in Corinthians. You have, John, you have John chapter 12, verse 31, where tell you, say, a Satan around the world. So, you see, we know, when we believe in the garbage there, are we have to out there and fight this. Them supposed to uh, listen to the word of God and sit them ass down, because according to them, the Bible yeah. is the word of God. So, if yeah. them are come out here and fight spiritual warfare, it means that they are going against the teachings of God. Bible you understand me? I say, because them Bible don't tell me, say, a Satan is the ruler of this world. So they're this not supposed to they oppose nothing. Remember, let me just sing the song, This world is not my home, and I'm just a passing through. Word them, up. Yeah, so then, this is not for them. And we Word. know this earth, I want to make heaven of this place where we there. And we have to go out there and do battles. Them don't need to fight the battle. Yeah, yeah correct. Um, um, so this is more like a watershed moment where we need to look and, and, and engage in a conversation like, should these schools be superimposing the religious doctrines and dogma on the children? Because back in the days, back in our time when we got school, um, Skata, Eve High School, they mm -hmm. had religious education. Yes. And there should be no such thing as religious education because um, education is more like an indoctrination system. Yes. You understand me? I say? When they understood that they were infringing on the rights of the students, you know what they call it? 
religious studies, them change the whole oh. curriculum and call it religious studies because legally, oh. Oh. legally, to say it's religious education, it is infringing on their constitutional rights. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So them so slick. When they do studies now, it is just up to you to retain what you want to. Correct. It is a study, so it's a choice. When it's an education, it means there's something that is superimposed. You have to accept it. So, you, you understand me? I said family. No, man. So, <laughs> so, so you, you, see, you see, even now, when I talk about religion and them something, these people who are talking about spiritual warfare, ask them to define the word spirit, and they can't. Mm -mm. They cannot. They cannot because even the word spirit now have nothing to do with nothing negative family. Mm -hmm. Spirit is it simply means the breath of life, you know. That's what <laughs> it means, you know. Spirit of breath, you know. Thank you, my brother. Spirit is the life force energy, you know. That's why it was called the Holy Spirit, you know. Oh my man. Jesus. Because anything that gives life is called the Holy Spirit. It's breath. The definition, the Latin word is spiro. And that's how the etymological meaning of the word come from, family. It now yeah. have nothing negative. So when, these, when we see these blind people, ignorant and gullible people, I run up and down, but they say Jamaica is under a spiritual attack on them something there. Attack. If Jamaica is under a spiritual attack, the whole are dead because yes. it means that there's no more breath in, in our world. Thank you understand me, I say? And, Thank you. And for those who think that Jamaica is under a spiritual attack, all of the bars them, we have them spirit license. Spirit. Yeah, All man, right. I'm going to shut them down because them, them down. have their spirit license. Yeah. Ray and Nephew are dealing with spirits. I'm going to mm -hmm. shut that down too. Yes. Because every bar, them have them spirit license. Oh, right? right? And for those who don't have a spirit license, you see the sign say what? It is my intention to apply for a spirit license. So <laughs> if, if Jamaica is under a spiritual attack, I'm going to have to lock down the wall in place there. But back yes. to the substance of the argument, family. Yes. Spirit... Spirit simply means the breath of life. That, that's why it was called the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And unfortunately, due to the, the dogma, you know, them right. things are beating our yeah. people so gullible. You ask them, define the word spirit, and they cannot. Mm -hmm. the, the same sister we are talking about, so she prayed to mm -hmm. the God of Daniel and Abraham <laughs> and Isaac, right? Uh, oh, those yeah. are all, according to the Bible, those are all Hebrew characters, <laughs> right? Now, she are talking English. Yeah. According to the Bible, that they got the only talking a Hebrew. Mm. So all them people, even when they are the school, this man not pray. More mm. often, what kind of language them did um. talk or communicate in you know? Because God not talk English. According to them Bible. Mm. A Hebrew, a Hebraham. You remember, you know, when they pray, them say them pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I pray Hebrew people and according to them Bible. Yeah. So if them not speak Hebrew, them can't communicate with okay, God. So that book is not for our, our word, man, not our God, that man. Let me tell you something, man. You see, the biggest problem is that in 2022, we are in the Aquarian age family. We are in the age of information. We are in the age of knowing. We are in the age of knowledge. These are the knowledge age. This is not the age of belief. Yes. That's why them tell you that the, the age of Pisces was the age of belief. Thank now you. we are in the age of knowledge and knowing. Yes. Yes. You, you get what I'm saying, family? Yes. So we have to step out of this belief system where we accept information without a, any scientific evidence yes. or a, a, any practicability or yes. any logic. Yeah. Because we are not saying that everything can be proven, but it should be logical. Logical. To it should be logical. Right. You yes. understand what I say? So when we see these people out there, these pastors and these so-called church people, how you... Even I go invite somebody from out of the street to come in at the school, to come superimpose them dogma upon innocent, undeveloped minds. Tell me, no family. Mm -mm. What once they are in school, it means that their minds are undeveloped. That's, that's why they are still in school. That's so for you, your minds. Good. So for you to do that, it means that you are superimposing. Yes. Your doctrines and dogma yes. and undeveloped minds, so you are manipulating them. Yes, and vulnerable kids. Correct. That, that teacher, you see that teacher where claim said us she got a um a, 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 a calling or something. Yeah. She needs to be evaluated psychologically. And we're yeah. not we're not we're not being funny. This no, is a serious not, matter. Not, not that that teacher should not be around kids. 
if she are here, vice is according to her, she needs to be psychologically evaluated. And this is no joke thing. The time for fiction in them kids, their mind pass, you know. That you pass. understand me, I say? So even the Ministry of Education needs to properly and thoroughly investigate yes. this yes. To, to, to establish who were these teachers that in heard the voices in their head. Yeah. Because they are saying that they heard voices in their head. Them get a message. And any teacher, if this was in America, and a teacher go say, she hear voices in her head, she lose her job right yeah. away, you know, and she will be recommended for psychiatric evaluation. I interviewed a woman today like say she's prime minister. So I'm just saying, we have to take these things serious now. We, I know, unfortunately, throughout the years, you know, we have become so dogmatized and everything. So them people like, get you with things all the time. Yes. But, but you cannot manipulate vulnerable children. It is a crime. The same, the same way our pedophile will try to give little kid sweetie so he mm -hmm. can try to make him move. It is still a form of manipulation what they are doing. Oh. So they should not get away with it at all. Our people are listening up because I'm not joking this. So these teachers who claim say them hear vices in them head because technically that's what they're saying. Yes. They need to be evaluated psychologically and this is no joking family we, we, yes. we are talking about protecting the sanity and the well-being of our children the young and the vulnerable definitely that, that no deserve to be teaching no kids no religious group should be coming in to superimpose when i look at that lady and the lady say when she see the child the child look fierce if the child look fierce the best solution is to uh, get the child mental assistance, send it to the guidance counselor. Then, then suppose, suppose this thing spread like, like fire now in other schools straight across the nation. What will happen? Like, just imagine if somebody has got some message tomorrow now who is very emotionally attached to religion and the spirit, what am I talking about? And them, they start, them wake up with a message tomorrow. So tomorrow, you know, the ceremony, in, in, a, in, a, in a, the auditorium, I'm going to deliver, deliver my message. And this thing spread like a disease straight across the island. What going on? Yeah, it will be a serious problem. But remember, in a scatter, you see, where we used to go on at Oberlin today, mm -hmm. and something we go on at church every Saturday, every Sunday, you know. Thank you, brother. Thank so, you. so, unfortunately, it just reads to the vulnerable. That is fine, yeah. you know. In the church, that is fine, because those are adults. They are uh, grown. Uh, thank you, brother. In the schools, the children are vulnerable and they are incapable of managing their emotional expectations. Oh, my man. Oh, yo. You get oh, what I say? Oh, we can't save that life when it finished because what you just said a while ago. Yeah, because you're talking about minors who are yeah. not mature enough to, to manage their emotions. So you are exploiting their emotional vulnerability as well. And because we are so used to this in appearance, see them kids who come home from school and say it's just a regular day and everything all right. And I send them back out tomorrow, like I say, nothing not go on. Word up. So what, what we are saying is that this is a watershed moment, um, Scatter, where we need to look, we need to revisit the facts that yeah. these, it, these publicly funded schools should not be superimposing no devotion because guess what? We are in a diverse society. Yes. You have Rastas, you have Muslims, and you have people who don't accept that garbage where they call religion. Mm -hmm. So people should have the freedom, children should have the freedom to not partake in yes. whatever religious dogma that is being superimposed. Yes. And since these schools are funded by taxpayers, the people reserves the right to call them out and say, listen to me, this devotion thing, it yes. should be a matter of choice. It should yeah. not be mandatory. Yeah, yeah. This is, we're talking about a legal matter because parents can sue them and win. Of course. Be, because if my child, if I do not want my child to partake in any form of religious activities, you cannot compel them. No. Legally, you should not compel them. Yeah. Yeah. If, if my child is a Rasta, you mm -hmm. should not have him in no devotion or you should not be compelling my child to have no devotion. We talk uh, about no Jesus. Uh, one, I feel, I feel a witness all of that atrocity. 
Earlier. You understand me? I say, um, Scatter, I remember when I go high school, right? Me used to go, um, me used to go to Camper Down High. Because them yeah. time, me and Assassin, I go to school at the same time, Camper Down. Yes. And you see, when devotion time come, as school, we call devotion. Yes. The teachers, them used to walk through every classroom Put and on. look to see yeah. if it's empty. I remember one time, about four hours, we hide in a one little room and the vice principal come and catch me. Right? I'm going to tell you something. We, we get detention for that, brother. Mm. We, we get detention for that just the fact that we are skip devotion mm. you hear me I tell you so it's the culture it's the culture but right now in a 2022 the, these publicly funded institutions should not be having no devotions where students feel compelled to partake in this form of emotional trauma um, because when people are saying Jesus and I roll a gun on them something they these children are not fully developed to handle these situations. No. As you said, adults in the church, fine. Don't do another, fine, but... fine. Correct. But it, yeah. you talk, you're talking about undeveloped minds and these because are they are in schools. Happening without the supervision of their own parents. Nor, nor the consent without the of consent. the parents. <laughs> because the parents should be the ones who consented to them a call people from out of road or having this word and this yes. woman and yeah, whatever. Yes, yeah. So oh. we are showing that even the basic fundamental rights are being trampled on. Yes. And people don't see that. They might have you most. understand me? I say. So so for all of the ones and the ones them oh I say yes, Jamaica is under a spiritual attack. It's nonsense. If Jamaica is under a spiritual attack, the whole are we dead because we don't have no more breath in our life. In our, in our body. Yes. Because spirit means the breath of life. Simple A B C one two three. Go yes. and look up that in our dictionary. Or against yourself. Go and look where in the information is. You can go and Google and you can Google the etymological meaning of the word spirit. A simple one, two, three. It's not rocket science. Say it again for me, please. No, I'm saying anyone can Google the etymological meaning of the word spirit and they will realize that it means breath or life force energy. So if Jamaica is under spiritual attack, it means, uh, guess what? The whole we are going to run out of breath. There's no more life force energy. There's no more oxygen for we for ingest because it is what sustains us. Let me ask you a question. So why, how them use this now as the narrative for what's going on? How that come about? Why people are using spiritual warfare? Why? There's a thing called, there's a thing even in, even in academia and even in, in the religious construct, there's a thing called appealing to the emotions. Okay, good. You get what I'm saying? It's a yeah. tactic that is used and employed. Politicians do it. Yeah. We see it all the while. Right? Really just people do it. Appealing to the emotions. So you see, when them say Jamaica under spiritual attack now, the fear comes in. The mass hysteria comes in. And mm -hmm. people submit themselves. Mm -mm. So that's the tactic that has always been used by religious folks and politicians. They appeal oh. to emotions. A politician will go up on a stage and bar living in water and everybody just sympathize right away. Yes. Even if them heart is heavy towards him, yes. right? A person can go on a platform and just start ball and yes. act in the most hysterical way, yes. right? Yes. And automatically them captivate the crowd. It's a tactic called appealing to the emotions. So all these people that talk about Jamaica is under spiritual attack and spiritual warfare. It's an appealing yeah. to the emotions we, of the masses. You know, we have people who are being boom bamboozled. You get what I say? We are in the age of knowledge. We are in the age of knowing, brother. Yeah. No, we are, listen to me. It's two forces in this world in a family. As they are saying, light and darkness, knowledge yeah. and ignorance. Yeah. It's either you are going to choose ignorance or you are going to choose knowledge. Yes. You understand what I say? So right now we are in the age of knowledge or knowing we are in the information age. Mm. Ignorance is a choice in the information age. Well, Vegas say, them say it's like this was planned because them I don't know, it come like they want the people them to get in their emotions about this thing. So be a distraction. Well, even if them try to plan it or try to even um, you know appeal to the emotions of the masses, whole heap of ones and ones the out here were smarter than them because we there and watch them long time and we know them tactics. Yeah. You understand me? I say? So as me, I say, even what, what transpired today, yeah. 
yeah. is a moment where people are going to start ask questions and say, why is devotions mandatory in schools yeah. that are publicly funded? Open up the eyes and ears, people. Why, why is my child subjected to religious doctrines and dogma called devotion? Yeah. Why is he compelled to partake in this act? Yes. You understand me, Mr. Scatter? Yes, brother. Yeah, man, you don't know it, go, man. Um, I don't want to stay too long, so big up yourself and give thanks. Thank you very much, man. That was very enlightening, bro. I swear, and I, and I love you even for reason with your wallet more time. I don't do that yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man, you don't know it, go, Scott Scatter, man. Where are you, man? Yeah, man, big up. Hang up for me, because yeah, I'm hang up. When we have one, I guess, yeah. Because one more thing I want to touch on. The same warfare there I go on with a lot of the females then. You know, industry. You know why? There's a lot of troubled minds right now. People have a lot of things. People deal with a lot of things. No, no, we not safe. We have a lot of battles over fighting. You know what I say? Everybody, especially in this time, you know, too much things are going on. And some people deal with it differently. You know what I say? And it has, it has gradually, gradually now become the escape for especially females in a dance hall where we have got through the obstacles in a dance hall and when they get overwhelmed they think that there's this place called the church that they can run to to escape and be saved and while a lot have escaped and found solace in the church right I am not here to knock them, but I am here to say there's this thing called um, meditation and not holy, you know, but a holistic approach to knowing yourself you know, and getting over certain things that are going on inside. You know. I said this to the female them in a dance hall because this industry is not easy. I tell you, it comes with a lot of craziness a whole heap of crab in the barrel, it will make you lose yourself, it will make you go crazy, see? Like many other industries, like in other workforce, people have them, them battles or them fight. I talk about the dance hall one. You understand me? For the female them, see? And you can take a more holistic approach and find yourself. You understand me? You don't need to go to a church and get this bunch of stories from a Bible. You can go and bond with nature and find yourself and find that peace where it exists. It is out there for everybody. It's out there for everybody. You understand me? You can take for yourself, go up into the mountains, go by the river, you know. Yoga, thank you, thank you very much. Yoga and them stuff there. You can go by the river. And find peace just by sitting by the river and listening to the water and just find your center. That do a lot for you, you know. Then going to church and be a nice on you. Jesus, God, that not solve your problem. It's just distracting you. It's distracting you. Because your problem's still dead. I tell you. When you take that approach, it makes you look inward. Inward, everything there, you know. Not looking outward. So a lot of the females, them last in the music you now, and when them run up on the obstacles you now, and then them go on the church you now, you hear them and say, yes, man, we'll take them one by one, come over here, so, and let them over there, so, and we over here, so, thing. No. It's just problems where everybody encounter, and going into the church is not the only way. You can find a holistic approach from nature. You're a part of this earth. Don't let me tell you about the heaven in the sky. You are a part of this earth. You're, you're, you're heaven, the right answer to like everybody else. But you have to go and connect and find yourself. And I never want to touch upon it. I never want to touch upon a lot of things. For instance, but like when we say about um, Lisa Ipe, and they say, um, demonic battles or whatever are she needs to go save and baptize. That's her journey, you know. But I just personally think Lisa I be smoked too much weed. Seriously. I just think she smoked too much weed. 
weed is not for everybody. And some females can handle it and some can't. You understand? Because what it does to you, you know, it makes you tapped into this. And if this is not strong, <laughs> you will lose it. You see me ideally. So I just think Lisa I've smoked too much weed. I mean I disrespect her. She didn't need to go get a proper cleanse, a try a holistic approach. That would have didn't do more for her. Because when she get baptized, I saw fear. I don't see somebody who did want um I don't see somebody who wanted to be saved. I saw fear. That lady is in fear because a lot of people are saying but shouldn't she feel like she's crazy and God alone can save her and all she need was to be cleansed you just need a cleanse you understand me but to cleanse herself some of the time you know can we take in some whole heap of things in our way we have to, enough time me I have to cleanse and go upon a holistic approach to my body see me and this is not um, trying to put down Lisa I because I'm a rater as a, as a female in the industry. And I don't want to see them running to think they're going to be saved in the church. Your problems are there, same way. Ladies are still have our problems. Everybody still have them problems. Destiny past part are still have them problems. But the church is very good at um, covering it up and hiding it. It's a great distraction because it have you believe in that, okay, this sacrifice that you're making over here, this is the sacrifice that is worth it because carry this cross and when you die, you're going to go to heaven. So they feel good about carrying that cross. See me, Adeline? They feel good about making a lot of sacrifice because they are promised a reward in heaven. If you want to believe that, fine, but I mean, I love to see the dance all female them and jump from one ship to the next because me can't tell them to say, really and truly, you are all creators. You understand me? You are good at, um, you are artists. And I don't mean artists as singers or whatever. You are creators and you guys are going to make different. And it's easy for we, like, lose it up here. Very, very easy. Because we are so in touch with our minds. You understand we can tap into a different place some of the time and just vision some things and you understand me down to the the bodies dance all artists are the most the dance all artists we're in a rate. We are creators. So it's easy for people to say we're mad. And it can easily be be interpreted and say, yo, the solution is God and go to the church. No. You have to go to a place and, and flush man and cleanse holistic approach and do yoga and get into them stuff there research that and connect back with who you are know who you are know who you are and find when you find that person nothing nothing no move you nothing can fears you and you don't want to be a part of dance hall you just want to do dance hall music but you don't want to be a part of dance hall so you get reclusive and you start staying in your own space and enjoy your own company and not chase the limelight or chase the spotlight or compete with nobody. Because you can operate within the dance hall space but you're not off the space. It never consume you. Because you love music. You can make dance hall music where you love and enjoy it. Don't make them make you feel like, say, in order to find peace, you have to leave and stop doing what you love do. You understand me? Don't let people rob you of their talent and what you're here to do, man. But you have to go find yourself and take away yourself. Lucian has said, I will take me over hills and the valley and find me a place. I will be free. In talk about Jesus and God enough, but in talk some things will make sense. You understand me? When 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 I'm chronicle I said, rather they on a hillside, that's a real meds demand them a whole. And we have to take on them action the real way and deal with it because it makes sense. Run going to church and a jump up. You just a jump going to another house full of chaos and stress and problems. Church full of problems too. So that is my message to the item. We are going to the school today. I am very offended by it. And if my youth go to school, eh, we would not file a lawsuit. I mean, I want to see that happen for the rest of the weekend at another school. And this is not no spiritual warfare. As the one seen.
this is a distraction. Nobody not supposed to quote no scriptures or no speaking a tongues to your kids. They go, they go to school to learn to and the issues and process real issues in this world. That's why you should be teaching your kids how to process issues. That's the most important thing you can teach them because they're all gonna come up on issues and they're not gonna be able to roll in at the ground and pray about it and it get eliminated. Okay? So this bugger holistic war and and and, and spiritual war and something something like that not prepared you with them for no bright future. So big up on the self, the life of the end. I'm chatting enough now. Can't